I'll see you, Jared. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're so happy to have you uh, come to see the Lady Bird special. We're so proud to have so many Democrats starting at Alexandria, Virginia, and going all through Virginia. I'm Luther Hodges, a Democrat from North Carolina. <coughs> We're so happy to be here in Ashland. I want to present <coughs> the Democratic County Chairman here, Mr. G.M. Weems, for a presentation. Secretary Hodges, uh, Mr. Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Lyndon Johnson, the people of Hanover County and the town of Ashland are very much honored in that one of your first stops is being made here at the same place where Presidents Taft, Wilson, and Roosevelt also stop. Your friends of Hanover County and Ashland present to you a gavel made of boxwood, which grew for years in the Garden of Scotstown, once the home of Dolly Madison and Patrick Henry. We extend to you and Mr. Lyndon B. Johnson our best wishes that this gavel will symbolize a triumphant trip for you through the South. Now I'd like to present to you your distinguished president of Randolph Macon, Dr. Morland. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, it is with a sense of privilege and pleasure that we welcome you to Randolph Macon College now in its 135th year. We recognize that as you preside so gracefully over the White House, you're making enormous contributions to our nation's life. A happy journey through the South and great happiness through all the years ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Weems, for my gavel. Thank you, Dr. Morland. And also, we have one of your alumni here, Congressman Porter Hardy, who graduated from randolph Macon. <laughs> this has been a wonderful morning for me to start in George Washington's historic Alexandria and then to have been welcomed in tradition-rich Fredericksburg and now to be at randolph Macon College, whose roots go back to our beginning. In fact, I feel pretty much at home because some of my closest relatives are students. <laughs> I think you students are lucky young men. I wish I were your age because I want to see the 1960s settle into the focus of history. I believe we are standing right on the verge of a period in man's history unsurpassed since the Renaissance as a potential for good and also, desperately enough, a potential for destruction. It is your great challenge and opportunity to participate in it and I hope that a part of that participation will be an involvement in the affairs of your community and your country. Never stand on the sidelines. When I look at the hundreds of students like this, I like to recall the words of Virginia's own Thomas Jefferson. I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. Many thanks to all of you for coming out this early in the morning and making it such a special stop. I want you to... I want you to know my daughter, Linda Bird. As a young person, I feel so lucky to have all of you young people here joining me today, and I want to thank you all for coming. This is our generation, the volunteer generation. We have 10,000 Peace Corps volunteers all over the world working. We have about 8,000 people who came to Washington this summer to work in various capacities of government. I hope that all of y'all will volunteer to work for our campaign this fall and the election of all these good Democrats we have with us. Over, ha 
Over half the people in the world are under 25. And that means y'all. <laughs> Thank you all for coming.